Okay, so then we could all see the screen from right here if we all sit down. Yeah. And then once you see yourself on the screen, you would then come up, do your pose, and then just go back to your sink. Or actually, you would just walk through and then sit to the side. Yep. Oh, I'm a fan. You want to sit up here or on the cushion? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. So you want to sit up? You want to sit up here or on the cushion? Oh no, just like this. So then we can kind of just have it up, down, up, down, just like we have here. So that way you're not just like kind of like packed each other. So yep, if you want to go up, you can. You'll just come right down here to the middle. This is gonna be where the audience is, right? So they're facing you like this. So you'll just come down when you see yourself here. You'll just do your pose, you do your thing. Then you can exit this way and come around to your same spot. Or you can exit this way and come around to your same spot. But the whole time you're on, you're on stage just chilling. So that way you guys aren't just kind of running into each other. So then all the looks shouldn't be about 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, give or take. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I know. I have a list of everybody that doesn't have any film. So, uh, I'll get those done really quick and then we'll get some extra, some extra B-roll and I'll send you guys on your way. Here you go. That's 20 seconds. Oh. They've been through a lot of ups and downs through this whole process. So. Thank y'all for sticking through it. Um, I, I can definitely say that, okay, y'all y'all really showed up every single time that I picked up and reached out. So thank y'all for making this happen. Is that too loud? I have not smoked any kush. Would you like to hit? I would like this kush. I can hit both of them. At the same time? At the same damn time! He wants to hit at the same time. I got hit up by the Zoxy. There you go. One to your nose, one to your nose. Put it on your ear. <laughs> Get real hot. Yeah, hey. Get real hot. <laughs> no. Oh, loud as fuck. Now they're not. Uh, tonight we had a dress rehearsal for Saturday's fashion show at Crescent Ballroom called Summer Slumber. So. We had a lot of robes, pajamas, loungewear, tried it on, everything fits. 
More importantly, I feel like I grew quite a bit. A lot of lessons learned, but you know, I'm so grateful for every one of those experiences and every one of those lessons. Every day has been a new project, a new task. I've never put together a fashion show together, so I don't know what's right, what's wrong, or how to do it. It's just what I'm feeling, what everybody else is feeling, and uh, you know, this is my interpretation of it. You know, I do feel excitement. I feel a lot of confidence, you know, like I'm just really looking forward to it being done, a real fun process and learning everything. And we're just gonna have a good time. Y'all gonna see more about it on Saturday. Thank y'all. Comfort is key for every homebody. Okay, well that's weird. It should be house, but tonight is an exception. Uh, so once we hit that rug, hello everybody. Welcome to the Summer Slumber Fashion Show. Please, a warm welcome. So this is really special. My name is Anwar Newton. I'll be the host this evening as we journey into comfort. We journey into homebodiness. We journey into, mm. okay? That's what we're here to do. Come as we are, and I came as I am. No edge up in my hairline, no lotion on the kneecaps. <laughs> this is how I look when I'm at home with a five month old. Welcome to the Summer Slumber Fashion Party. <laughs>
Get all the way up here. And then we have everybody up on stage. All right, one more round of applause for everyone. This has been the Summer summer Fashion Show, and uh, I'm not going to waste any time in getting the creator, the mastermind, the man behind all of this up here on stage. Please give the biggest warm welcome to Brandon Jenkins, guys. Hit him with that walk. There we go. I'm gonna let uh, let him do some talking. Uh, here you go. Man, I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. Thank y'all so much for being here. This is the first ever fashion show at Crescent Ballroom. Is that right? <laughs> Man, it's take a lot of hard work, but none of it's possible without these people right here. Yeah. Right here. So one more time for the models. My family is up here, my friends. We got people from out of town up here. This is all about the community here for homebody friends. So really thank y'all so much for coming out. Um, yeah, I'm like at a loss for words. This is like incredible. You guys all look amazing. You guys brought out your, your pajamas. You got your, your all that hat on. You know what I'm saying? You got your robe on. So you trying to like, you're trying to get like you, man. You look good. <laughs> but yeah, again, <clears throat> it, it Words cannot express like how much this means to me. So thank you guys so much for being Woo! here. Uh, comfort is key. Grab your homebody. And uh, thank y'all for coming out and checking out the Summer Slumber Collection. All right, folks, let's give these, let's give these fine folks a bow. All the models do a bow. Do a bow. Hit them with a bow. Hit them with that bow. Hit them with that bow. Uh, oh, it was cool, man. Um, you know, I just channeled my, my inner model. You know, I don't know a lot of male models, but I channeled all of them and uh, I made it work. It was dope, man. Um, I got to be under, under hot lights, but not have to use my vocal cords to project and entertain motherfuckers. But um, I got to entertain people just by wearing my, well, wussy we'll fit. So it was cool. It was cool. It was sick, man. I mean, being up there, being on stage, I was a little nervous at first, but once we got up there, man, it just it felt natural, it felt uh, fun, and the music was popping, so I'm happy. Brandon did a sick job. He made it uh, really easy for all of us. It was amazing. I mean, it's amazing to see how far Brandon's come. I've heard him talk about this for years, so I'm excited that like this is just the beginning to even more, so I'm excited to watch it grow. Man, it was beautiful. We had a good time. Everyone showed out. A bunch of beautiful, beautiful faces and beautiful outfits. It was actually uh, very, for me personally, a little nerve-wracking, man. But once you get over all your fears and um, and you realize you're here, to, you're here for a bigger cause. You know what I'm saying? That that got me through this, man. Um, personally, I've seen him go through a lot of adversity, and the way he handles that is very, um, how do I say? It's almost, it's almost inspiring to me as a little brother. It makes me want to work harder. It makes me want to um, not stop, you know, wherever, whatever hole you're in, you know, you can always dig yourself out. You know, that's what my big brother always showed me. It was amazing um, to see him do everything from start to finish, from like concept to see it all come together has been amazing. Um, I was a little nervous at first, but then after doing a couple of walkthroughs, I felt a little more comfortable. You know, I'm taking the Homebody and Friends label and um, 
fashion to the next level. Um, I have an idea for a fashion show and I would love for you to actually be a model in it. It's the first time anybody's approached me about uh, that type of entertainment or that type of um, project. Uh, yes, this is my first experience actually walking in a show. I've never done it before, so it was fun. Um, honestly, I think it was really fun. I just love the outfit. I felt really confident in it and I was just really proud of Brandon, so I just had good energy. Right. I'm on the podium. This is my post-game interview. So, J.R. Smith, why did you... <laughs> Man, my night went perfect. Not just my night, but Summer Slumber, the whole fashion show. It's, uh, I don't think it's all hit me yet. Like, I think I'm still picking up the pieces and really realizing what this all meant. It's just the next collection. So like I'm already on to like, you know, the fall, the winter, and what that show is gonna look like. I feel like the creative process is always going, but it kind of evolves. I think it's just more about, for me, it was just more about learning how to do these kind of shows and just figuring out what's right and what's inconvenient. Uh, a lot of lessons learned, but the creativity never stops. Uh, well, thank you for tuning in. Homebody friends, uh, the uh, post interview for Summer Slumber. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for supporting. Comfort is key for every homebody.